In this video, I will show you how to create an automated data entry form in Excel by using ChatGPT. That looks like this. We will learn how to use radio buttons, drop down menu and we will also learn how to limit a particular cell to accept only a number, text or a value with a specific format. So if you enter a wrong value or a value that is not according to the defined format, the form will show errors in real time. For example, if I accidentally enter a number in the name field, it will show the error like this and will not let you submit the form until all fields are correctly filled in, ensuring accuracy and eliminating the chances for any errors. And don't worry, you don't need to have advanced extra knowledge to do this because I will show you a step by step procedure. So after watching this video, you would be able to amend this form form or create your own form according to your specific requirements. Plus I will share a link in the description so that you can also download and use this automated data entry form. So without wasting a single second, let's jump right into it. First of all, we will set up the form template and the template where we want to save the data. Let's say I want to create a form to capture and save the following employee details. Full name, employee ID, gender, date of joining, employee NIC, department, designation, gross pay per annum and the address of employee. I will start by setting up the input fields or the cells for each of these details. Alright, so we have done some basic formatting but there are some very important points that you need to know before we move on. First of all, look at the date of joining. I created three separate cells for date of joining because I want to separately capture the day, month and year in this specific format. Because of this, the employee ID, department and gross pay fields are also split into three cells. But we don't want that. So I will select and merge them so each one becomes a single cell. Then I will also select this address field and merge that as well. Now we want to put radio buttons for the gender. So I will switch to the developer tab and then inside the developer tab click insert and choose radio button. I will bring this radio button here and I will change its name to male. I will take another radio button and I'm gonna name it female. You may want to resize and position them properly to fit the area just like that. Now let's deal with the remaining input fields. First of all in the full name I only want to accept the text value and I want to show error if a number or any other value other than text is entered in this field. Then in the employee ID field I want to accept both the text and numbers. Similarly in the date of joining field we want to accept only the numbers from 1 to 31. In the cell that contains month we want to accept the numbers from 1 to 12. And in the year I want to accept only 2024 as the year. Next, we want to make the department as a text only field. In the employee NIC cell, I want to accept numbers but with this specific format. First, there should be 5 numbers followed by a dash, then 7 numbers followed by a dash and finally 1 number at the end. So if a user enters a value that is text or does not match with this specific format, we will not accept it and we want to show the error in that case. I will make designation a text only field. For the gross pay field, I want to accept only the numbers formatted with a dollar sign. And finally in the address field, we will accept both the text and numbers. So that was basically a complete structure of our data entry form and the conditions or validation rules that we want to implement. Now let's format it and give this data entry form its final shape. I am gonna fast forward this. So we have finalized our data entry form. Now we just need to fix two more things. Number one, the radio buttons and number two, the department. For the department, I want to create a drop down list. So first I will type in some department names here, for example, finance, sales, operations and admin. Then I will select this department cell and press Alt D L. Choose list from these option and I will select all these department names as a source just like that. So our drop down list for the department is created. Now let's deal with the gender. I will right click on the male radio button. Go to format control and link it with any cell. For example, I will link this with cell B1. Do the same thing for female radio button. Right click, go to format control and link it with cell B1. Right now we don't see any change but watch this. If I select male option, it will change the value of cell B1 to 1. And if I select female, it changes the number to 2. 
Let me increase the font size in case you have not noticed this change. See how it is changing values when I select male and female. So the number one represent male and number two represent female. Finally on the next sheet I have created headers and this is where we will save the data that we will capture from our main data entry form. And with that we have completed the setup of our automated data entry form as well as the template sheet where we will save the output. Now let's go to the next step and start automating this using chat GPT. So I am on the chat GPT website and I will paste my prompt here and hit enter. You will find this prompt in the description of this video. But the important thing here is to note how I actually wrote this prompt. First of all, I described the problem and what I want to accomplish. Let me read a couple of sentences from this prompt. I want to make an automated data entry form that captures values from one sheet and save it on the next sheet. I have a sheet named form that contains my main data entry form and I have another sheet named entries where I want to save the data that is captured from the form sheet. After that, I gave a specific instructions to ChatGPT for the sheets as well as for the individual cells. For example, cell D4 is an input field for full name and I want to accept only text in this field. And so on, I described the validation conditions and rules for each of these cells and overall how the form data should be captured and saved. This is a very long prompt so I will not explain everything. You can check it out in the description of this video. And you can use this exact prompt to create your own automated data entry form. All you need to do is to replace these cell references and the conditions with your own requirements. For example, if you want to create a number field in cell A1, just change this to cell A1 and replace this text with the number and so on. Now let's scroll down and see what ChatGPT has cooked for us. So first of all, ChatGPT is asking us to create the button on the form sheet. Then it's giving us the VBA code here and finally it's telling us how to implement this code. We need to insert a module and paste that code in the module. Let's do that. I will copy this code and then I will come back to the Excel sheet. Now I will hit Alt and F11 to open the VBA editor. I will go to insert menu and click here to insert a module. Then paste this code that ChatGPT gave us. Press Ctrl S to save the code and close the VBA editor. Next I will go to the developer tab and from the insert menu I will select button. And I will place this button here on the bottom of my data entry form just like that. Now it's asking which macro you want to link with this button. So I will double click on this submit form macro to link it with this button. Let's rename the button to save and submit. Alright, now we are ready to test it. I will first fill in all the fields correctly and try to submit the form to see if it is working. And after that, we will enter wrong values to test if the validation rules that we have defined are also working or not. So I have filled the form and now I am going to click on this save and submit button. And there you go, data successfully saved. Let's go to the entries sheet and you can see that it is working perfectly. All the data from this form is successfully saved on our output sheet. And that's the power of writing the perfect prompt. If you learn how to properly prompt ChatGPT, you can solve your problem on the first try, as you can see for yourself. Now let's test if our validation rules are also working or not. Let me enter a number in the name field and try to submit the form. And you can see it is giving the error invalid full name because we have defined a validation rule that only text can be submitted in the name field. Let's change the date to 32. Click save and submit. It is not submitting the form due to the validation rule we have defined that we can only accept dates from number 1 to 31. Let's change the month to 13. Click the submit button, it's giving invalid month error because we can only accept month from number 1 to 12. Finally, let's change the employee NIC format. I will delete one number from here. Click submit and no, it will not submit the form because we have entered invalid NIC format. So almost everything is working perfectly and we did it on the first try, primarily because of the prompt that we have used. And now you can go ahead and improve it further if you want. So after prompting ChatGPT a couple of times, I further improved the form and now if I enter a wrong value in any field, the respective cells are automatically turning red, indicating the errors in real time. And it is also perfectly saving the new entries on the next row as well. 
So that's all about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and share this video if you found this content useful and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Also consider subscribing to ASC Certified Accountants to learn more about Excel, Advanced Accounting, Accounting Software, Finance and Taxes. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.